Recently, Anthropic had a major new advancement with the launch of Agent Skills, a modular package that teaches their model, Claude, to perform specific tasks reliably and consistently using structured, reusable knowledge. So instead of relying on a single generic prompt, Claude can dynamically load the expertise that it truly needs for that particular example, kind of adding the right tool to the tool belt whenever it's truly needed. For Claude Code, skills allow it to powerfully use its new capability to use pre-packaged instructions and code. For this particular example that you're seeing on the screen, you can add a doc skill to let Claude Code generate Word documents directly from the terminal. This makes Claude Code even stronger for general purpose agent tasks and truly elevates it as a terminal-based AI agent. And until now, unfortunately, other terminal AI agents didn't have this capability till today. This is because Gemini CLI, Google's terminal-based agentic AI coding assistant that is open source, just shipped a huge update in its weekly release version 023, where Google has introduced agent skills, which is supported in preview builds. Agent Skills is now going to allow you to extend Gemini CLI with specialized expertise, procedural workflows, and task-specific resources, very similar to what Anthropic introduced with Claude. And that's not all with this update. We also got the Gemini Conductor integration fully configured, a new usage dashboard, increased free tier usage with the Gemini 3 model, and a lot more. So let's dive straight in. First things first, you want to go ahead and update the new installation the new update, and that is by running the npm install command within your terminal. After updating, and once you have opened up the Gemini CLI using the Gemini command, what you will need to do first is use the slash settings command. And once you are within the settings, one thing I highly recommend that you do is enable preview features so that you can use the Gemini 3 model series. So simply go ahead and click enter. In the same manner, enable any of the other presets that you think would be best fitted for your use with the Gemini CLI. But now what you want to do is search up agent skills. Currently it is enabled and listed at false. So simply go ahead and click enter. And now you're going to need to reset Gemini CLI. So now what you're going to be able to do is if you use the slash command, you can search up skills. And this is where you're going to be able to now list out any of the skills that you have already pre-configured. You have the ability to list them, disable, enable, reload. But how do you actually create them? Well, it's super simple. You can do this from the terminal or you can go into the agent skills file and you can set it up. But essentially the base structure is really simple. You give it a name, you give it a description of what you want the actual Gemini model to use the skill upon, and you can enable it whenever you are wanting to prompt that skill to be used. But like I said, you can actually instruct the Gemini agent within the terminal to build out your skill. Another option is by simply just heading over to the skills MD file and then structuring it by the name, description, as well as your instruction. Here is agent skills in action. This is where the Gemini CLI was able to take a messy folder containing hundreds of unstructured notes, as well as automatically transforming it into a cleanly named, well-organized and deeply cross-linked obsidian knowledge graph, all under 30 minutes and at minimal cost. This is thanks to the new skills update, which was enabled for this particular use case. The Gemini CLI team has also said that you can install this using extensions within the extension marketplace of Gemini CLI. So essentially, these rules that you see are basically the skill sets that you can add directly to your CLI using a simple command by installing this extension. And this way you can use the Firebase rules. You can use something like SpecFlow, which is a spec driven toolkit. I don't even think you would need that now because you have Conductor, which we're going to be emphasizing soon. But essentially, you can use Extension Store to help you install these different skills. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. Next is the official launch of the Gemini Conductor integrated within Gemini CLI. Now, I've already covered this in depth with my previous video where I showcase how you can simply install this and how you can set up the spec driven development framework that Gemini has released. Essentially, Conductor is going to bring context driven development to the terminal by moving project context out of chat history and into persistent markdown files that live alongside your code. 
And your repo is now going to become a single source of truth with Conductor for product goals, architecture, tech stack, and workflows. This is especially powerful for existing brownfield code bases, which is where most AI tools fall apart. With Conductor, it formalizes what already exists and keeps that context updated as the project evolves. And with this, you're going to be able to get better development with the code that you already have, as well as with new projects to get the best out of this free tier that is implemented within the Gemini CLI. Now, if you do not have the conductor installed, it's super simple to have this fully configured. And all you got to do is just copy this command to install the extension and open up your command prompt and paste this within the terminal. Once it has finished installing, it will ask you a couple of things to install. Like, do you want to continue in cloning the repository instead? And you can go ahead and click yes. Once Conductor has been installed, you can start it up by opening up the Gemini CLI. And then you're going to be able to use all of the Conductor uh, commands. So what you can do is use the slash command once it has been initialized. And what you can do is use the Conductor command to go ahead and start up a new track to plan, generate ta task specific spec documents and updates for a new project. So that is how you can essentially get started with the conductor. If you are to use the new slash command for stats, you're going to be able to get a better intuitive display of your summary of usage. And this is an easy way for you to track your performance as well as your interaction summary. Now, this isn't really an update, but you have the ability to get a wrapped preview of your overall usage throughout this last year. So if you want, you can use the MPX Gemini dash wrapped command within your terminal. And this will give you a condensed summary of your last 365 days within the Gemini CLI. It gives you a summary of everything. And you can see that it provides the total tokens used, messages, as well as sessions, and your longest streak, total model that you used, as well as the language. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private Discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. Now, there's a couple of other small things like Windows Clipboard image support, where if you are a Windows user, you can now paste images directly into the CLI using Alt plus V. You also have automatic terminal background detection. And this is where the CLI can detect your terminal's background color to automatically select compatible themes and surface accessibility warnings whenever it's needed. This is just a small little update list of what they have released. I'll leave these new updates in the description below, the change log. And this will give you a good idea of all of the new things that they have introduced, mostly bug fixes. But the main thing is the agent skills. And that is something that is going to help a lot of us out because you can essentially power Gemini CLI to do a lot more with this new enhancement. So that is basically it, guys, for today's video on the new Gemini CLI update. I'll leave a link to all of these things that I've used in today's video in the description below. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the second channel if you haven't already. Join the newsletter. Join our Discord, follow me on Twitter, and lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, folks.